Scott. Hi, everybody. This is Scott Barnes, everybody. Hi, hey, how's it going? Hey. Hey. Hi, Scott. What's up? This is Frank. Hi. <laughs> That's Scott's new book. It's my new book. It comes out September 1st. You can get it on Amazon now, though, which is great. I'll come grab mm -hmm. the link. Well, <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I went to, because I only have one copy myself, mm -hmm. so I go to order it, and they had like 7,000 copies. They were down to three two nights ago. So I was oh, like, wow. oh, I'm sure those are gone. Well, I just That's ordered five copies on Amazon. I did the hair for the book, so I wanted to see how it all turned out. So Well, let's see. Hair for... Okay. I just got... Look at Kathy Griffith. Five what? copies. Look at... Wait. So that is his hair and his makeup job right there. That's oh, Kathy no. Griffith. So it looks wow. different. Pages, right? Yep. Just making sure. Yeah. That's can her, you make me Welch. over and hang out? But then there's Raquel Welch's in the book. Oh, okay. Which is Please. genius. I'll show you. Because, like... You know, Raquel's. Oh my goodness! Yeah, beautiful, absolutely stunning. Can you believe that? Seventy-three years old. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> unfair. Very little, <laughs> very little air. Yeah, well, I did. It's like it's makeup, work. and she, you know, she's not really big on plastic surgery, mm -hmm. and she's a beautiful Good woman. Good genes. Yeah, because you know, you know <laughs> sometimes when people get a lot of the plastic surgery, they look they, crazy. Yeah, they yeah. start looking like uh, a tiger. Well, did you ever see the thing? The movie um, it was really funny. Um, Escape from L.A. Yeah, and they were in like Beverly Hills, and they had the like plastic <laughs> surgery freaks and crazy well, stuff. I, yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about you. Let's talk about makeup. Uh, we were just, as a matter of fact, talking in the hallway about when I was younger. My mom um, was doing the whole makeup thing and had right. to go through school, and she was putting the bruises and all the stuff on us yeah. and going through all that. When did you realize that this was something you wanted to do? How you know, long you been? Well, it's interesting. I've been at it for twenty three years, mm -hmm. which is like so hard to even admit. Because I look like I'm 16. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I started, at, I, w I wanted to be a fine arts painter. So I moved to New York City to go to Parsons. And, and I worked for Steve Rebell. Right. Uh, he was alive, who owned Studio 54. Mm -hmm. And um, I worked with him until he passed. Uh, we, we opened the Royalton Hotel. And then, I, you know, I got odd jobs. So I was working for a photographer as okay. a photo assistant, you know, schlepping equipment, you know, mm -hmm. developing pictures in the dark room before digital. Right. Like, I'm really dating I myself. I love dark room. Though. Yeah, That's it was the dark stuff. room. I'd be in there, like, you know, for hours. Mm -hmm. And he would say to me, you know, and I'd use the studio to paint in because I had a bunch of roommates right, in right. Fort New York, you know struggling student and he'd say you should do makeup and I was like absolutely not I had no interest in it and he just kept saying you got to do it you got to do it and I was like finally one day he broke me down and I go all right I'll do it and I was awful and I mean just like when I say awful it was it was awful I'm sure he wasn't no it was bad <laughs> I'm sure he wasn't <laughs> and he said no you got to do it like how you paint because I used to mix all my own oil paints and do all my own stuff and and so um, I did a couple tests for him, you know, test photography and right. do some makeup. And then next thing I knew, it was like I was doing like editorial shoots and I was working on models and then, you know. Making was... a surprise appearance in the Google Hangout, everyone. Hey. 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 Thanks. Come sit next to me. Want to Can see I hang you, everybody? Hi, guys. She's taking a quick break from the show. She Hello. She Hi looks guys. very glamorous, right? He did her this How good is this whole thing of a hair look? It's like a whole family story going on here <laughs> at Fox. I love it because I always do my own makeup. So to have the. And you were fast. Yeah, I don't mess around. It's like. Boom! And you, all of a you, you guys don't know Jill so much, but Jill is on the air every day, and they they actually do stream us every day. And so, is this the most Jillian, but yes, I know you've asked about her, but listen. So you did Jill, <laughs> today. yeah. And so, did you guys already talk about that? Like, what's different from from what you would do normally, Jill? Like, well, how, I, how was it different for you? I tried to take tips, but he's so fast, and I I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, what is he doing? So it's, we have to go back. You know what and it is? It. It's contouring. I don't contour. I just do foundation and I do my eyes because. It's early here. I've done this show for like almost 18 years. So I'm all about sleeping in and doing the last minute makeup as fast as I can. So it was I was pampered today with you guys. How much time did you spend? An hour for both hair and makeup. Hair and makeup. Hair and right? makeup like, an hour. Yeah. yeah. We tag teamed and did it all simultaneously. Yeah. That's amazing. It was awesome. I mean, you're gorgeous to oh, start with. I mean, she, you need to have a gorgeous. canvas, right? right? I mean, that's important. Well, you know, it's I've, I've said in both of my books that every everybody has a ability to be the best version of themselves. You know, I mean... It, it, it's there's no reason not to be and feel good because you know looking good leads to feeling good feeling good leads to respect people open doors for you and it, it's an amazing thing that you know it's men and women 
it's it's not about being grizzly if you're a guy. It's like cleaning yourself up. You don't have to be so tweaked and pressed and you know. But and it's uh, nice his book because you you really it's a tell all of how he sculpts these people, not just celebrities, real people. He'll tell he's, yeah. he's like I'm like this girl's stunning. Oh, she's an accountant. She's you know they're just regular women. You know, and just and to show that everybody has the ability to yeah. be. It's amazing. The yeah. bank teller, the debt <laughs> Yeah, <collector>. exactly. <laughs> so I was, I was in the guys, financial area. <laughs> have, have you guys talked about your beginnings already? Like yeah, you started? where I okay. started, where I came from. So as I was saying, you know, and then I, think I got I have a to job. go. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just looking at the. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, well, Jill's going to well, go. Jill, Jill you, you need great. to come back and visit the hangout more. I know. I want to talk to everybody. You got to no, hang out at the hangout. Out. Okay, okay. Yes, that would be that would be very fun. Yeah, I would love it. Yeah, and you guys could ask me anything. Personal questions, really, I love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my favorite. My favorite. There's, there's, uh, okay. okay, I'll just jump in now. Um, did, no, thank you, you for stopping by. Come sit by me. Okay, Come okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get in. Show your face. <laughs> uh, thank you. Now, did you guys meet everyone in the hangout already? I, I, we haven't has, has personally Shaka met. You? <gasps> well, let me introduce you really quickly, okay? Shaka, did you go over the intro, like um, telling them about the. Mm -hmm. Jumped right in. You jumped right in. <laughs> we you jumped. did. Okay, well, listen. It, hey, good morning to you guys. It's Maria from the Fox 11 Newsroom here in Los Angeles. If you're just jumping in, OMG, we're hanging out with Frank Galesso, uh, star uh, hairstylist to the stars. And he does Austin. Kim's hair all Kim the time. Kim yeah. Kardashian. We're just talking about Kim. We also have uh, Scott Barnes here, who is a makeup artist to the stars as well. I mean, this is such a big get for us because we often wonder and just stare at these beautiful faces and wonder there has to be a team that's behind, right? There's got to be. I mean, oh, it takes things. a village. Just, it takes a village <laughs> dream to like, team, get, get that whole going. Uh, but this is our hangout, you guys. This is uh, everybody. We have a maximum of 10 in the hangout from all over the world. Not only that, this is broadcast live to our YouTube channel right now, so um, it's broadcast to anyone who's got a YouTube account, wow, and, and everyone has that. Hi, so, everybody. Hello, world. <laughs> Hi, world. Let, let me introduce you to those that are in the Hangout now. You could see other faces pop up here, but this is Ayub. He's hanging out with us from uh, Leicester. He's in England. Hello. Hi, guys. Laurent is in Paris, France. Hi, Laurent. Hello. Monica is here in Boulder. Hi. Monica. Hello. Matt <laughs> is here in Anaheim in California. Hey, Matt. Hello. Renzo is in Venezuela, and Hello. Trev is in Yorkshire. He's in the UK as well. Hi, Dan. Okay. That one from Australia? Um, no, not today. You know, oh, the okay. time in Australia right now oh, it's is time. a little funky. Yeah, yeah, it's like about 3 o'clock in the morning, I think. So okay. sometimes <laughs> we do get the Australians in. We really do. You remind me of um, that actor who's married to Penelope. Um, Who? Javier Bardem. Does oh, it? Frank, do you get that right? All the time. You all do, the time. right? I feel like I'm sitting next to Javier Bardem as well. well. Thank you. This thank is you for the awesome. compliment. <laughs> so, okay, so let's talk about your book here, Scott, because this book, I was just looking through the pages, is crazy. Like, there's one here of Kathy Griffin. Yeah, that we were just showing them. Oh, did you just yeah, show them? Yeah, you know okay. what's great is that this book just got picked up in London. So, it will be available through Apple Publishing. Oh my God. Um, throughout Shannon London. Doherty, did you guys? She was in our hangout here just a couple mm. months ago. It's Kelly Rowland. She's very popular in it London. Really? So, yeah. I want to get this book. It looks fantastic. I mean, I'm a girl, I, you know, get it, but but it's just fascinating how you have transformed, transformed you know, these, it's, these people. Yeah, it's interesting because when I get um, booked to do a job, mm -hmm. you know, I worked with Jennifer Lopez for 11 years and I kind of created Jennifer's signature style, you, did, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and you well. what, what is that signature style? <laughs> well, it's just like glowy skin glowy. and I, you know, my whole thing is like, I look at women from a man's perspective and it's like, what would I want to see in a woman? I want to mm -hmm. see her looking sexy and glowy. It's mm -hmm. hard to kiss a woman when she's mm -hmm. got like red lipstick on and I too agree. much stuff. Yes. So I really kind of came up and, and, and the funny thing is, as I talk about in this book, which you guys will read, is that I talk about Raquel Welch and kind of transforming Jennifer into what, because mm. Raquel Welch is like, that, you know, yes. the quintessential woman, you yes, know? Yes. So, and she was Latin and, you know, sexy. And so I did the same thing with Jennifer. I was like, listen, you know, and all this time I'm trying to make Jennifer look like Raquel. And meanwhile, Raquel was trying to book me. And I, it was like, <laughs> we talk about it in the, in the book, but we finally got a chance to hook up together this year and we've become such good friends that you know so interesting by the way you guys if you have questions you know just uh okay yeah Renzo yes go ahead 
Okay, I have two questions. I mean, they're really quick. Uh, are the celebrities that you work on like very open to the changes, like Kathy Griffin? You know, that like, they look so different. And my other question is like, when you're having Maria Cuban on that calendar? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Renzo, you're so sweet. Listen, we, you know, um, it was funny because this was I, like amazing. this was crazy. Like I took Vanessa yes. Williams. I don't. You guys are probably fans of Vanessa. And she's been yeah. on my for a while. So beautiful, right? Everybody knows at, her, Miss America. She was here in our hangout. Yeah. yeah in so oh. I took her and I was like, listen, I want to turn you into like a 1940s Hollywood starlet, mm -hmm. you know? And she goes, okay. And I said, yeah, but like a white woman. So I turned her into this, this white <laughs> woman, <laughs> which was Look really at, funny. Can you at believe first, that? I thought it was. Oh, um, wow. What's her name? The singer? Christina? Um, yes, Christina Aguilar. Because no. of the red the lips blonde. and the blonde hair. Yeah. Just that signature. Part. Right. Isn't that amazing? Which I work with Christina too. You yes. know, I did that's a lot. Awesome. That's pretty amazing. But oh, then yeah. I did four Vanessas. She wanted to be turned into <gasps> oh, a... Oh, this is her too. Yeah. A Nubian princess. Ah, oh, that's wow. amazing. Iman kind of yeah exactly uh, yeah, you know exotic. she did that she did that really amazing show called so you know you think or so you think you know who you are mm -hmm. which is that ancestry show and she found out that her family came from slavery and it was like all this stuff it was very emotional for her so she was like can you make me as black as you can make me no one's ever done that before and I was mm -hmm. like sure <laughs> you know like, <laughs> so the stars kind of like dictated to me how they wanted to be mm -hmm. what they like Kelly Rollins mm -hmm. came to me and I was like what do you want to be you know, because makeup can transform you into anything. It really can, huh? She's like, I want to be a cheetah. And I was like, right. cheetah it is. <laughs> That's just wild. It's God. Yeah. It's God. Set up, set up at the age, you know, for Maria, then. We want to see her on that book. Oh, you're so funny. Yes, I would, it would be an honor. <laughs> One of these days, maybe, maybe. For sure. I can stand in line. <laughs> I will stand in line. Um, so, Joe just walked into the hangout. Hey there, Joe. Welcome to you. We haven't seen you in a while. Hi, um, Joe. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Joe's in, in uh, New York, I believe, back east. Yeah, um, my hometown. Yes. <laughs> Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I'm actually on vacation, Maria, and uh, that's the only oh. reason I can hang out this week. Good for, you. Good for you, Joe. I noticed the tan. Good for you. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, okay, so, hey, so, when, they, when they make you up, what are you going to be? I don't know yet. We're, that's to be determined. That's to be determined if that's <laughs> going to happen. But I have some real questions because I know some real um, people are watching in terms of like real applications for makeup because I know I'm interested in that because, you know, as a mom, I'm busy, busy yeah. and like things that I want to pick up on is like what is most important you think that we have to consider when we get up and do our regime? Listen, I always tell everybody, as long as your skin looks amazing, it's really important to stay out of the sun, stay hydrated, you know, which is hard to do. And if you're a working, busy water, person, it's hard right? to sleep. Lots of water. I mean, we're all sleep deprived. We work so much. We run around. We really are. Yeah. So the thing you want to do is just really make sure that your skin's hydrated externally and internally. Make sure that you have a good foundation, a good SPF in it. You know, like I always say, NARS makes a really great. Do you have to spend a lot no. of money? I, I, you know what? I love Olay from the drugstore. That works really I great. Use. It's a great yeah. moisturizer. It's comparable to a lot of the high-end prestige departments. My grandmother used like Pond, Pond's, um, That I'm not as familiar with. I know mm -hmm. that my mom used to use it a lot. Mm -hmm. My grandmother did, mm -hmm. and I feel like Olay is like that. That happy medium between the two. Paris Hilton. Yeah, the uh, studio. 54. 54. I was yeah, like, yeah. you know, what do you make Paris Hilton into? Right. She's a party girl. You make her into a yeah. 70s party girl, I guess. Now, what about hair? Because hair, you know, I recently, I mean, I have Asian hair, so I have a lot of hair. But I went to get, like, a little, one of those hair pieces that you can right. clip into your head. Like, that's fun, right? I mean, how, how do you... Does, Listen, you know, do the, these girls have the clip actually, on these the nowadays to be able to really create all these looks? You right. wouldn't be able to do it without extensions and hair pieces. Right I, mean, yeah. I walk into a photo shoot with a suitcase full of hair, oh. and you're adding and taking off. I mean, hair is just right. like false See, eyelashes. See, you guys. I mean, it does. It does take a village. I mean, you can't just do it on your own. So I mean, yeah. hair is so accessible. I mean, actually, you know, I read that there's a shortage of hair in Los Angeles right now. <laughs> That's how many of the women here uh, using hair extensions. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, I mean, yeah, really you see the something. tumbleweeds rolling down the yeah, street. That's, yeah, that's, that's I mean, funny. this whole book was created with wigs and hair pieces so, and hair extensions. Okay, all right. I mean, Thank you. it's just would be impossible. I mean, no one has your, the perfect yeah. hair. 
Yeah. Oh, very few people do. Very few. I mean, if you're, if you're Asian, like, I mean, I have some hair, but I definitely went and got some clippies just for right, fun. To be and longer, if you just want to be short. Yes. Do you want an ombre look on the ends to be a little yes. blonder? I, mean, I wanted can, the longer look. And then you're not look. damaging Harry's your fashion hair now. either. Yeah. You know, Harry's fashion is like buying a, yeah, it's like buying yeah. a dress or a pair of shoes. Yeah, remember, I always say glamour can be bought. You can buy it. Of course. You can buy glamour. It can be bought, you guys. Yes, Matt. Matt. Uh -huh. Um, I just, I just had a question. Uh, amongst my my female friends, uh, the idea of Mac is is rather decisive. Like some people really love it, and some people don't. How do you I'm feel about Mac? I'm not a fan Mac of products? it. Yeah, I'm not a fan okay. of Mac. And I'll tell you why. It's not because it's a bad product. It's mm -hmm. because the color is off. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's well it, that doesn't even bother me. Yeah. It's funny because if you go to certain lines, they'll either have a foundation, and all of them have a tendency to be like warm and buttery looking. Mm -hmm. Mac is very gray. The mm -hmm. skin looks agree, really, really gray. And then you'll look at your neck and your face and you're like, okay, they need to be in the same zip code. I mean... So what did you use on Jill today? Because her foundation is just phenomenal. I'm, you know, I actually use some stuff that I'm developing <gasps> and I've been working on it in the lab. So you yeah. used to be in um, Sacks. Yeah, yes. we'll be Sacks. there again very oh, soon. Good. Yeah. So I'm, good, I'm getting ready to relaunch my now, line. How many but, SKUs is your line going to consist of? Uh, 260 SKUs. 260 so. SKUs of full cosmetic colors. Yeah, it's Fantastic. great. It's a full color line. Yeah, it's gorgeous. really fun. So on her, you use a combination of what is yours going to be? Yeah, yep. I used all my stuff on her today. Oh, you did? But it's okay. it's a lot of the technique. You can use stuff from, you know, L'Oreal, and it really? works really great. Yeah, I love like True Color Match. Like you can get it at the drugstore. I, I love True Color Match. Too. You know, it's a good one. Yeah, you can definitely, and you can get it at Boots in London. You know, it's easy. Boots in London, you guys love Boots. Um, are you? Yes, go ahead. Well. I mean, you said you started out uh, wanting to get into fine art and uh, and painting and things like that. Um, now, while I see the fine art influence in your work, yeah. just wondering if you ever want to go back to actually painting something that will that it's will stay painted. Weekend. Yeah, I was just talking about it. You want to get back into painting? I, I miss it so much. Unfortunately, my schedule doesn't allow it, mm -hmm. and, when, and I don't have the space to paint because I used mm -hmm. to paint very big. Mm -hmm. murals and stuff like that that's I mean that's what I learned I mean look this is Kelly Rollins you can see the amount of work that went into that creating making her into a panther the painting that went in mm -hmm. the oh, her whole lip and mouth was yeah. kind of I mean that's that, that that's that's amazing that's definitely kind of a very fine art it's look so. art. yeah it really is art you can really see that coming to play here you know I, I lived in Tokyo for three months and mm -hmm. And makeup is such a huge part of their culture, sure. and I really got immersed in that. And it really, it changed the way I looked at makeup because it is such an art form, and they use it to express themselves and dance and the way they sing and, mm -hmm. and almost the unspoken language, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And it's transcended mm -hmm. years and years. I mean, you go back to oh, well, from ge geisha, yeah. the geisha time, and yeah. how they apply that. It's such a ritual. It's a ritual, yeah. and and it, and you know, you see like the skaters, like mm -hmm. boys that are straight you know skater boys in the street with glitter in their eyes and it's right. just really cool that because they use it as an accessory mm -hmm. yeah to you know i mean america's not that advanced but mm -hmm. they do it as, a, as an expression like mm -hmm. you know i'm cool i'm hip i'm this you know mm. and it's That's interesting. exciting Actually, to see all that you know it's not necessarily just for girls no I mean, it's, it's just for, it, it's you know it wasn't like oh i'm wearing a full face of makeup it was like right, you know right. the splash of color or, or swipe oh. or, you know and i was like this is cool. That's yes. fascinating. Fascinating. All right. I know I'm going to have to let you guys go because I think you're going to be going. I to have to go so. on air now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it was great to meet you guys. Thank Actually, you so much. Hey, what, 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 one last thing. I mean, oh, you're going I on air. Yes, go ahead. Okay, last, last. One last thing. You're going on air in a minute. So how was it for you to be to sit down and get made up for going on air? I made myself oh, up. Did you make yourself up? Yeah. Did you? <laughs> I have so much makeup on. It's not even funny. No, you do not. <laughs> yeah, I do. I, you, you don't look I normally it. look haggard. No, you don't look at it. Oh. Well, when you get to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, it takes... No, are you wearing different. powder? Uh-huh. Just yeah. a little Stop, bit of powder. Some, yeah, yeah, put a little powder. You don't... A little bit of concealer. You need the eye stuff, right? Maybe a little bit of eye stuff Yeah, guys. sometimes. Yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, it's like, guys. listen, we... Guys I always say, help. just use a little bronzer, but just make sure that it's nothing... Like, I love my favorite product for men is the NARS, and it's an SPF. Oh, and yes. a moisturizer. And it's That's a tinted moisturizer. And yes. I'm telling you, it, it makes your skin look radiant. You look like you're awake, alive, and you're not damaging your skin in the Guys, sun. Guys, it's okay to wear tinted moisturizer. And you're protecting okay. your skin from the sun at the same time. So I'm the, 
They got you it for can. you too. They have it too, Tony. <laughs> they got I, it for you too. <laughs> I'm gonna get that for my husband for Christmas. That's a fabulous idea. And it comes in a squeeze too. Nars is the best one. Yes. And it Out doesn't look femmy or girly. No, no, no. You don't no. feel like, oh, I'm wearing makeup. You know, it's... Yeah, you protecting, you're protecting right. your skin. That's you the bottom to. line. I mean, yeah. Listen, you want to protect your skin. Protect your investment. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, you guys. the book Face to Face is available on Amazon. Here it is. Buy your copy. Make sure you write a great review yeah. on it. Will you guys take a photo with me before yeah, you go? Yeah, of course. Oh, awesome, awesome. Here's right the camera here. right here. Did it happen? Yes, they do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They're like. So, where did you get this? Um, like from, from Sachs Sephora, and, right? Um, do they have it? Sephora? Bloomingdale's. Mm -hmm. I don't think Sephora no, doesn't they carry NARS. It. But we off now? Yeah, Bloomingdale's definitely. No, they're still there, but, oh. but you guys are going to go um, on set. We're going on Bye, everyone. Bye, nice guys. meeting you. And